Hello everybody. Thank you to come to see my video. This is my first tutorial and well, it's not my first tutorial, it's my first, first tutorial in English. So um I ask you to be patient with my my speaking. Um I try to improve it and I hope to the next videos uh my fluency get better. So um this is this link that I have made in the Blender and I will show how to do that um, that's metal spring so you come to Blender select our objects delete or delete uh, but first let's show the, the keys so you can see what I press in my keyboard okay so top view uh, start a circle tab to edit extrude scale okay so to do to, to do a spring metal or a screw something like that you usually can use this method so you select two vertices, hit the, the D key to to divide them. It is not divide, you separate them. And you need to uh, uh, use the proportional addition. Use connect, connected and the linear. G, Z, and now you use the scroll to to improve the the forcer field to the end of the the vertices so apply you can see this space is the same as this space and now i have a perfect uh, ramp here so i use shift g z and now i use the vertex to uh, snap element when i hit g z and press oh sorry I need to disable this GZ control press control you can uh, merge them here oh sorry again I, I forgot to able out mesh edit so check this one and do that so you merge the vertices and we need to do that a lot of times until you have a, a good spring metal to maybe make your slinky as you can see is a, a simple simple work but um, um, you know you will need a lot of steps to to do that and maybe is a um, a little boring or you know something uh, more practice practice to do that but uh, I, I I just know this way so there is the spring and now what you do is is you know the space you have here is more than the space you have here so you need to pull or push you need to push the, the spring so I select this this versus and proportional edit again sharp GX and now you can see I improve the copper uh, forcer field to merge, almost merge them. You know, I don't merge. How can I say? Let's see. Uh, one is good, one negative. So the this link is take the form. You can see the 
in the middle have a lot of to a lot of space and the points is compact it's because the you know the gravity makes this compact and here space so you can go to the next step go to subdivision surface to uh, solidify solidify let's see okay that's nice and a bend a sim simple deform then you can find the bend here and improve the angle but as you can see is not to work properly you need to go to edit mode and move this in the y axis so now you can have a link rotate x 90 negative right view and see the base needed to should be how can I say and this to shape you know <laughs> um, you need to do the, the both sides for that you use the the angle and the, and the movement of the spring here so um, Y axis is OK, Z axis OK, uh, this angle nice. Mm, maybe I think of more compact would be better. OK, let's change the, the value here. Okay, small, small, no, sorry, uh, scale X, nice, G, Z, okay, that's nice to me. Now we, we are, um, how can I say, now we, oh, now we have done this link and can apply the texture. So for the ah uh, I forgot to say this is a texture not a material. Uh, well, it's a material, but it's not based on colors. It's just a picture like that. Uh, you can make this picture in the Inkscape. That is a free software like Blender. Uh, let's start here with a square and use a gradient. We can edit and here you can use the base, you know. Let's improve it. Uh, you know, this is alpha and t with transparency, and this is the, you know, the like diffuse. So you can use in the the maximum and add, that, add some stops. Each stops would be a color like red, ye yellow, no, orange yellow, green, cyano, blue and magenta so you can make cheese and it's very simple you don't need to practice neither, neither knowledge to do that maybe some um, some patient and there you are um, now you can apply this material here so you can export this material you know export bitmap and use here uh, I apply a material here with the name color I forgot to, s to enable cycles and use nodes nodes Nodo. Mm, let's see. Okay. Um, node edition. Uh, create a 
texture, image texture, open, is linky, color, ok, color, right. Um, and now, the best part, unwrap project form view. And here, you can see the base link and you use the scale to to you know put it along the color so you have this you can change the you know the intensity the the how much color <laughs> you use that and I don't know, this is looking sharp to me. Let's see if I can change something here. To that. Ah, better. And. Okay, that's nice. And now we can apply a smooth material. Okay, a smooth material, now a smooth shading. And in the material, it change this to diffuse, diffuse no, sorry, to glossy improve a little bit it's ok now it's z ok let's make some light small, small, no, sorry, uh, scale shift d, another here Rotate X, rotate Y, some light. Emission, let's see, emission. Okay, emission. Mm, 13, 13 is a good number. The word would be black. It's nice. Hender. And there is your slinky. Okay. And if you like, you can do another with the metal material. It's very easy to, to do that. It's just a new metal glossy gray little bit diffuse the roughness and let's see okay it's nice well is that now you have a uh, slink model as as there you as you can see that okay so you can just scale this to to look like the other the other model, and you know it's just the details. But the model is that. So you now know how to use the bend and the proportional addition addition with the difference between the the sharp and the linear and this is a very useful tool um as as many tools in the blender <laughs> so uh, i hope you enjoyed the video if you like please uh, let the <laughs> like in the video and if you like the tutorial i want to know how next video you would you like and please let me know if you 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 know if you want to say oh Petri you need to explain more explain more the steps or come down man or oh no it's okay let's continue with that you know something like that um well well thank you for watching let's see you again soon bye